from a, from a big family of her six children in the house. Uh, and like my older siblings, they all had like their toys, like there was a big box of toys at home where they all put all their stuff. By the time I was able to play with those stuff, with those things, that, that was just discarded objects, pieces, broken things. So I got used to, to recycle things, to reuse mm -hmm. uh, things, to, to create toys and everything. So then when I started traveling, I also, you know, developed that love for uh, collecting small things, uh, souvenirs or whatever mostly garbage or what other people would consider garbage to create my art. Artists are, are the, the, the people who convey uh, very often a message and, and start conversation. Um, so that's, that's you know, their role. And um, they are very much, you know, a group uh, aware of, of changes uh, and need, uh, environmental need to, to change our way of living and, and, and um, they are a core of a community around here. So that's, you know, that's, that's basically uh, how we see it. And we are actually, you know, uh, surprised how diverse uh, the approach is. If you could see uh, the, our, the artwork we, are here, we have here, it's really amazing what you can use. Uh, I was invited to Morocco with a government scholarship and then I had a big show there and after I stayed there for five years and I did not have the money. <laughs> so I had to look around for something which was really cheap. So I went to the market and I picked up used egg cartons and because I wanted to make sculptures. I wanted to make sculptures and then from these uh, egg cartons I made sculptures. And then uh, when I came to Montreal, it, it happened actually 20 years ago, so it's not a very, it wasn't yet so much in. It, mm -hmm. it was a necessity. I, I, I like to look into people's face, that's true. <laughs> and here yeah, when I'm traveling the metro, then yes, yeah, sometimes it's embarrassing. I, I hope they won't take it wrong that I look at people. <laughs> So uh, actually they are portraits, but not from one person, and they are all sculpted. So it's not more than nothing like that. They are all sculpted one by one. Yeah. And, and sometimes I, I just have this uh, dough in my hand and start to push it, and then hmm, somebody comes out. The song. <laughs> so, and, and this is how it's, uh, it's, it's born somehow, the, the face there. Uh, recent uh, developments and uh, interests and, and uh, the public uh, concerning uh, environment, concerning um, uh, climate change and different actions and the march um, and so on and uh, triggered activity uh, connected with um, using art uh, as a medium to talk about recycling, uh, reducing and reusing. And that's, you know, that's, that's the basic premise of our um, exhibit. I, I like the idea of using things that already exist. You know, like, uh, I feel bad when I throw so much of plastic or things away. So um, if we started this uh, mentality with everything, like when we, we go shopping, we try to, if we try to implement the same mentality into every everyday activities like shopping or other, other things, I think that would help. So uh, at the core of my art is trying not to waste things, try to find other ways to use things that already exist. Whether as a student or working as a professional, my attitude was use what I have. Don't keep adding more things that I've paid for, just I have collections of things, I have things that I've inherited from family members or picked up in garage sales. Use what I have, empty the cupboard, empty the shelf of something that's been sitting there for a long time. And it, that just becomes uh, an ordinary event. I think sometimes too, it's just uh, if you're low on cash, I mean, there's lots of things that are accessible to make art with and people are discarding things all the time. 
And I think the other thing for me of reusing is that so many things from the past are so beautifully designed. So it's, um, I guess you develop an, an aesthetic sense of like what it is that attracts your attention that you can walk by the garbage that somebody's throwing out or like I like to hang out in a scrap metal yard. There's thousands of things, but I may only walk away with three. Uh, well, the, 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 the photograph of the large photograph of the garbage was, was part of a process that I was involved in exploring quarries. Uh, basically, I would just uh, Google Earth some quarries and uh, map it out and drive out there and wander around for a few hours taking photos. And one of the fo one, in one of the quarries, we had a little garbage heap and that's where the photograph came from. If you go to Reno Depot or Home Depot or places like that, or Ikea, and everything is new, everything's been untouched, everything is designed by today's standards, and I find it all really kind of boring. And uh, whereas if you go into back lanes or places that have been used, and you have the human touch on everything, and you have, t you have the evidence of time on everything. Mostly it's, a, it's about, you know, starting conversation and um, it seems like public is, is, is you know, it's ready to, to, to change and, uh, and this is, you know, very attractive way of, of, of doing it, I think.